Prix incomparable. Hello and welcome to our English News Edition, the top stories. A restitution of the false cycle and image assessment report by the Department of Finance. And only international and Austrian government wants to expel up to 60 Turkish imams. Thank you for joining us in our newsroom. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Mergid, has in a press briefing indicating that the proliferation of major infrastructure in the country can create thousands of direct and indirect jobs and fight against youth and employment in Djibouti. Listen to the President. <laughs> The head of state has pointed out that the education of children in rural areas is highly important and that it takes a lot of effort and means. To educate rural children, it is necessary to set up all the conditions for the restorations and the housing for a better education. After the education, the state must set up structures in order to create jobs for these young people. It can appeal to investors to promote the creation of jobs. Djibouti has no endowment in terms of mineral wealth. We do not have heavy industries. The challenge is to find jobs for all the young people we train. We make use of foreign and domestic investment and it is necessary to put in place reforms to encourage investors. Everyone has the right to a job in his country to feed himself and his family. Job creation which has also been a top priority since the last presidential election, is also making considerable progress, said the head of state. Today we found, I think, the right formula that led to an efficient job creation process. Today's success around the issues of employment stems mainly from the fact that we have succeeded in offering basic education to all the country's children on the one hand and that we have put in place all the other foundation necessary for the creations of an environment conducive to investment, especially foreign investment. Beyond that, we intend to support the work of our economic boom through the pursuit of major development projects, including the policy of extending our port. The commissioning of July will be to inaugurate a new free zone, the largest in Africa, the rapid transformations of Jewish localities such as the Merjog, which will be a national pole devoted to heavy industries and oil factories, but also metal processing. After a working visit to Djibouti, the Somali Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khairi left this afternoon. He was accompanied by the Minister of Communication, Abdi Yusuf Sige, who had a last meeting with him in the launch of honor of Djibouti International Airport. It was the first visit of the Somali Prime Minister to Djibouti. He was accompanied by a strong delegation, including several members of the government. He had a busy day yesterday with his participation in a bilateral meeting at the Prime Minister's office, followed by a meeting with the Djibouti head of state. As part of the official visit to the Republic of Djibouti by his Somali counterpart, Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed shared yesterday a bilateral working meeting with the Somali delegation led by the Somali Prime Minister Hassan Al Nikhiri, including members of the Somali government, Foreign Minister Ahmed Isawad, Somali Minister of Telecommunication and Technology, Abdeshur Hassan, Somali State Minister of Defense, Mohammed Ali Haga, and parliamentarians. The discussions focused on exchanges on topics of common interest, including Link ways and means of strengthening the partnership and initiating economic and commercial cooperation. The Somali Prime Minister thanked his guests for today, recalling the durability and excellence of the relationship of trust between the two states in the unwavering and constant support of the Republic of Djibouti at a time when the sisters and brothers needed the most. Mr. Hassan al also reported on the political situation and the progress made in the recovery and reconstruction process in, the Somali, in Somalia, pointing out that his country is currently at a crosscross. 
The Prime Minister of Djibouti, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed, welcomed the Somali delegation led by his Somali counterpart in Djibouti and Somalia, share a common interest and in are linked by strong cyclical ties and the relationship between the two countries and population goes beyond the simple neighborhood, he said. After the bilateral meeting between Djibouti and Somalia, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed received in an audience two personalities who were decorated with the Knight of Medal of June 27. First one was uh, Mr. Ha Hussein Abdi Dubab, entrepreneur, who was decorated in subsequently. The second was the Ambassador of Djibouti and former Minister Mr. Adan Hassan Adan, decorated with the Medal of Commander of the Order of Jena. Subsequently, the Somali Prime Minister visited Djibouti's telecommunications and port infrastructure. The Djibouti Communication Minister Abdi Yusuf Sugi accompanied the Somali Prime Minister during his visit to Djibouti Telecom. Welcomed by the Director General of Djibouti Telecom, he was briefed on the capabilities of Djibouti. Then the Somali Prime Minister Hassan Abdi Khairi signed Djibouti Telecom's Golden Book and was pleased with his visit to the flagship Djibouti infrastructure. After his visit to Djibouti Telecom, the Prime Minister also undertook a visit to the Djibouti for infrastructure. The Somali Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khairi, who is on official visit to our country, made a point of visiting Somali refugees from Ali Adi camp. Because of this strong wish, and despite the fast of the host of this holy month of Ramadan, he visited the afternoon of last Thursday in this refugee camp, home to a large community of Somali internally displaced persons from Somalia. In his trip to this rural town in the region of Ali Sabih, the Prime Minister of the Somali State, Hassan Ali Khairi, was accompanied by the Minister of Communication responsible for posters and telecommunications, Abdul Yusuf Sudi, delegated by the Djibouti Prime Minister, Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed who was detained in other cases, members of his government, including Somali Foreign Minister Ahmed Aysawat, Minister of Telecommunication and Technology, Abdel Shirasin, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Somali Defense, Mohammed Ali Haga, Somali Prime Minister and Parliamentarians and other uh, senior officials of his country. And on the spot, they were welcomed by the Prefect of the region, Ab Mohammed Abir Asawi, the sub Prefect of this rural locality, Shiban Dahir, Musa, and by many camp inhabitants, whose joy and fervor to welcome the Prime Minister of their country's of origin were palpable. And in a speech to the Minister of Information, Mail and Communication, Mr. Abdul Yusuf Abdi Yusuf Sugi, 
Uh, he began by thanking the residents of Uday uh, Ali Adi um, for their hospitality in, in Adi that the Somali Prime Minister paid special attention to the Ali Adi camp. And for his part, Hassan Ali Khairi, Prime Minister of Somalia, thanked the government and the people of Djibouti, headed by the President of Ismail Margheli, uh, for their uh, efforts toward the Somali refugees and their facilities and assistance. They are part of the efforts of the Djiboutian government through their fellow Somalis, he said. The 41st year anniversary of the Djiboutian forces celebrated at the PS military camp under the command of Colonel Abdul Zaq bin Mohammed. Colonel Abdul Zaq bin Mohammed conducted the traditional review of the troops of the different corps of the army forces based in the capital of the region, the city of Ali Sibiha. This celebration also saw the participation of the prefect of the region, Mohammed Wabari Asoui, the president of the regional council, Omar Ahmed Weiss, and the deputy of the region, Mr. Abdi Khairi Bouh, also local and national elected officials and heads of the local detachment of police and gendarmerie. State officials, personalities from all over the prefecture and many other individuals from civil society took part in this event and after the obsession, the military salute to the soldiers of the various corps. The Colonel Abdul Saab bin Mohammed read, read a long speech of the commander of the general staff of the armies, then a military parade on his passage to national corps colors in shirt and subsequently the prefect of the region Mohammed Wabiri Asoui Colonel Abdul Saab bin Mohammed have deposited a wreath of flowers at the monument of Nortis on a place in the barracks in this morning ceremony ended with a musical entertainment hosted by the troop of the Republican Guard. Ordre du jour du chef d'état-major général des armées. In the armed forces stationed in the province of uh, Tijora also celebrate the 41st anniversary of the establishment of the National Armed Forces, commander of the Armed Forces of Tijora. Mr. Malik Mohammed Bernita, President of the Regional Council, participated in the event and he gave a military parade to, to, the, to the trainings of the Jerusalem Army Forces. <laughs> Ah, mon commandement, osez
rendez-vous annuel nous permet de rappeler les réalisations majeures accomplies au cours de l'année écoulée et de tracer une feuille de route pour les années à venir en vue de concrétiser nos engagements envers notre chère nation. L'institution militaire a connu ces dernières années une évolution remarquable qui découle d'une ferme volonté politique visant à faire de notre armée un outil performant. Je pense tout d'abord à nos soldats qui sont engagés jour et nuit à nos frontières au service de la patrie pour préserver notre intégrité territoriale en dépit de toutes les difficultés. The 41st year anniversary of the Army Forces celebrated in the, uh, the military camp battalion of the first intervention under the command of Captain Omar Ali Hassan, the Captain Omar Ali Hassan carried out the traditional review of the troops to the different bodies of the forces based in the chief town of the village al -Uni. This is the celebration also saw the participation of the Assistant Prefect of the Region of Arta, Chief of the Village, the Murjok Abdi Shai Bumar, the President of the Chief of Hassan and Village Jama Said, and uh, military characters of the uh, city, as well as representative of the American forces and the President of the civil society. After the passage in the military salute before the soldiers of the various courts, the Captain Omar Abdi Hassan so many made a speech of the commander of the general staff of the armies then they disposed it uh, with of flowers at the monument of the martyrs. In the end, the troops provided the military skills acquired during the workshop to be consolidated by, uh, to be consolidated by the U.S. military forces. Semga à l'occasion du 41e. Economy and Finances, Mr. Yas Musudwali, in charge of industry, in close collaboration with the World Bank, held yesterday at the People's Palace the final meeting for the restitution of the report on the rapid evaluation of the damage in need post cyclone. Uh, this report, piloting experts from the World Bank, aim to identify and assess the damages done by the Sakar storm in all sectors. Uh, this report describes places of damage caused by the uh, as well as weather, bad weather, and gives way to the strategy to better understand this type of phenomena resulting from climate change that the planet knows in recent years. 
The experts presented the report citing the different sectors that have been affected by the bad weather, and including the social sectors, housing, urban planning, health, education, and culture, uh, agriculture, livestock, fisheries, commerce, industry, and tourism, as well as the transport and communication, energy, water sanitation, and cross-cutting areas, environment, risk, and disaster management. In addition to the Minister of Finance, this meeting was attended by the Secretary General of the Presidency, Mohamed Abdullah Wais, the Minister of Agriculture, Mohamed Ahmed Awali, Minister Delegate for Housing, Mrs. Amina Abdi, and the Secretary of State for uh, Social Affairs, Ms. Muna Osman, Director of the Djibouti and World Agency, Mr. Mahmoud Musa Ahmed, actors from different ministries uh, uh, concerns, and the technical managers in charge of the state institutions. And the Minister of the Economy and Finances, who gave us an interview, said that the World Bank experts gave us a report today on the damage caused by the weather in the different sectors that were most affected. He said that this report will allow us to better understand a future hurricane or storm in it that happens as there are more and more these days because of climate change. And today, this report has given us the opportunity, he said, to deploy the implementation of a strategy for the future. The Transport Minister Mohammed Abdul Qadir visited the Jewel region on Thursday, 7 June, following the Headful Tech by an army group in the sub prefect of Dora. In his travels, the uh, minister uh, was accompanied by his, his vizier of Dora, Mr. Ahmed Shahim, and the deputy of the region, Mr. Omar Aden, acting prefect Habib Jilani, to see on the spot the extent and the damage caused by this attack of the barbarism. The minister is in conversation with the companies responsible for the work that reassures him that the work will not continue. For his part, uh, the Minister of Transport has not hesitated in condemning this act and that the government will take all necessary measures to ensure the safety of property and persons to undertake work and this will be pursued by our strength and will be judged before the tribunals for, for the repeat offences in the region. In his speech to the Minister, the minister of Transport and Equipment, in this, in the Minister of Transport and Equipment condemned this, this uh, attack, explaining that the government will take all necessary measures to ensure the safety and security of all the properties in this story, as he said, will be prosecuted and monitored by our uh, forces. He called the citizens to um, unite efforts to uh, fight this extremist group uh, that seek to create chaos in the country. The sixth meeting of the AU Trade Ministers was held in Dakar, Senegal, from June 3rd to 4th, 2018. Attended this meeting, the Minister Delegate of Trade Hassan Mohamed Ibrahim, the Deputy Minister of Commerce, accompanied by the Secretary General of the Ministry, Mr. Ali Daoud, and the Legal Advisor of the Prime Minister, uh, Dr. Kalsoum Ali Ahmed. Uh, the sixth meeting of the African Ministers of Trade aimed to review the report of the sixth meeting of the Committee of Senior Officials on Trade and important decisions were taken to implement the framework agreement on the continental and African free trade area and the African Union Commission presented the reports of the uh, sixth meeting of the technical group and the fifth meeting of the senior officials held from 30 April to 12th May in Addis Ababa and uh, from 25 May to uh, 2 June uh, respectively in Dakar, Senegal and during the work the Djibouti Trade Minister expressed the opposition of the Republic of Djibouti and the support of the President of the Republic Zixi Small Murgele for the efficiency and efficiency effectiveness of the process, as well as Djibouti's efforts in the framework of the regional economic communities, uh, while ensuring recommendations on, on some highlights of the agreement, such as the list of sensitive products and the list of exclusion, as well as the liberalization of uh, services in accordance with the directives of the Kigali Summit in Rwanda. The Minister of Delegate for Decentralization, Hamadou Mohamed Aramis, accompanied by a strong delegation, went Thursday afternoon to Garabtsan in the region of Tajora to share a meal of uh, bringing fast with the population of this village located at the foot of mountain of Garbi and the Azul Plateau Siaru. This visit allowed the Minister to distribute 10 sounds of uh, uh, food and uh, party and as well as uh, clothes for the Eid uh, before bringing the fast with the men of the village in Garabstein. A village at the foot of mountain of Garbi in the Siaru in the region, in the Tajara region, it is not rained for, for more than a year. All the surface water mobilization works carried out by the Ministry of Agriculture have been emptied for two months, and the population is uh, supplied with water by the um, army forces in the tracks of the Tajara district. 
Despite the harshness of the climate and despite the fast, the population had warmly welcomed this regular visitor who in, everyone knows that the rarely comes, uh, in, comes empty ended and on that day the minister was uh, to distribute and tons of food and large quantities of clothing to this remote population. And as soon as the food was distributed, the minister and the members of his delegation visited the hydraulic works made by the Ministry of Agriculture before uh, breaking the fast with the man of the village. During this iftar, which was friendly and warm, the minister of the sensitization listened at length to the grievances expressed by the leaders of the village. Uh, he noted with the satisfaction that the newly created village school had been functioning normally during the school year, standing and that the population was satisfied with it. The minister went on to say that the national authorities were uh, committed to uh, improving the living conditions of the population of these localities which are subject to harsh and, and as well as climate. He said that the first priority of His Excellency Malu Margele's government was primarily to provide the village and surrounding settlements with the water. The State Secretary for Youth and Sports organized Thursday evening a collective iftar followed by a dinner in honor of staff and other guests invited for the occasion of the at the Sheraton Hotel. After the uh, invited guests took their places while waiting for the Aden to uh, as well as by the mosques of the capital, the organizers of the event offered the guests a religious animation of Sheikh Dandawi who has the gift of vibrating the vibrancy the vibr spiritual of the faithful. At the end of the Ramadan fest, the staff of the State Secretary for Youth and Sports and their guests openly expressed their satisfaction after this fraternal moment of sharing the guests of the, uh, the evening uh, such as parliamentarians of Djibouti, the president Mrs. Uh, Aisha Garad Ali and partners of international organization all thanked the minister and his team for the invitation of Rais Far Hassan Mohammed Kamis, Secretary of State for Youth and Sports, thank the guests for their presence. Uh, and now on the international news, Australian government wants to expel up to 60 Turkish Imams. The Austrian authorities are attacking political Islam as they call it, more with Hindi Ibrahim. Islam and foreign financing of religious group, Chancellor Sebastian Kors said the government is shutting a Hellene Turkish nationalist in mosque in Vienna and dissolving a group called the Arab Religious Community that ran six mosque. The actions by the government are based on the 2015 law that, among other things, prevents religious communities from getting funding from Interior Minister Herbert quickly said the residence permit of own foreign imams employed by Atib, a group that oversee Turkish mosque in Australia. Trump along against all of the top of the G7 it is in the Grand Hotel of uh, Lemon Valley, Quebec that the leaders of the G7 countries are preparing to meet uh, at a summit that looks particularly tense. Let's listen to India for more details. The world's largest Western economy is going to be dominated by just one topic. U.S. President Donald Trump's trade tariff on Canada, Mexico, and the European Union. It's been nicknamed the G6 plus one because all the leaders that the culture in the Charles voice in Canada on Friday are already united against Trump's protectionist trade policies. Those six leaders are some of uh, Americans' closest allies, yet they are furious that there is now a real possibility of trade war which could derail the global economy, and he's partly justified the tariff as necessary on national security ground, which has particularly attracted the nation host Canada. 25% tariff on steel and then 10% on aluminium will hit more than 6 billion euros worth of European Union spores of steel and aluminium, according to the European Union estimated when it comes to steel, Britain appears to be piking on its so-called special relationship with the U.S. This is it for this news. Thank you for joining us on RTD channel and have a good night.